there's a doodle bug in the trunk of my car. It's not time to call an exterminator. It's time for another episode of Secondhand Trains. Hi Crab Cakes, I'm Emil Hanolt, and this is Little Buddy, and this is the Big Crab Cake Channel. Welcome to another episode of Secondhand Trains. We have one secondhand train that we picked up at a recent York train show meet. The Train Collectors Association holds a huge meet twice a year in York, Pennsylvania, once in October and once in April. We attended the April meet. The meet is huge, it's spread out over the York fairgrounds in seven different buildings and they're all as big as a warehouse. This train was one I found in one of the member halls. Four of the seven buildings are for members only. And you know, membership's only $50 a year. I attend both train shows, so we're talking about $25 additional for each show to be able to have access to seven halls instead of just the three public halls. It's absolutely worth it. And many, if not most of the best deals I've ever gotten came from the member halls. This did as well. This is the DC-3 rail inspection car, also nicknamed the Doodlebug. Let's take a look inside. It's a used train, but it's nicely wrapped. It might as well be brand new. This train was produced by MTH in 2013. So you're thinking, well, that's almost a, a nine-year-old train. True, but when you're looking at trains, especially used trains, especially second-hand trains, what you're mostly you should be interested in is the amount of hours on it. A lot of that you can tell just by looking at it. This train looks absolutely brand new. There's not even a scuff on it or a fingerprint. This version of the Doodlebug was produced in the Amtrak livery. I'm not positive whether this actually ever existed in real life. I, I don't think this is a prototype, I believe. This maybe is a fantasy scheme of Amtrak. Uh, I think that Amtrak probably did have doodlebugs. I don't think they had this model of doodlebug. I could be wrong about that. But in any case, this is a beautiful looking train. It's interesting, it's something different. I don't have one of these in my collection and it's gonna be really fun to run on a track. It's very long and although it has small trucks, it's gonna be run on a minimum of 072 curve. So that's basically a big six foot curve. Um, not every layout can handle that. So you want to be careful before buying something like this that you make sure your layout can, can accommodate uh, a train of this size. So let's get this on the track and try it out. The MTH Premier DC3 rail inspection car features lighted cab interior, illuminated number boards, lighted marker lights, and two engineer cab figures. It also includes passenger figures. There's a startup sequence. There's a long horn and a short horn. And there's also a bell. Equipped with ProtoSound 3.0, the Doodlebug features Freight Yard Proto Effects and also Cab Chatter. Go ahead, dispatcher. Then switch you to the siding just before mile 
Bravo's third. Stab it there and await further instructions, over. Roger, entering the siding before milepost 30. I'm waiting for further instructions, over. That's correct, dispatcher up. Attending train shows as a way of finding secondhand trains is our tip for the day. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to see more like it, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any future episodes of secondhand trains. We'll see you next time on the Big Crab Cake Channel.